today with Pamela Ponich-Hunthausen. Uh, hi, Pamela, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Um, so do you mind introducing your, uh, yourself to us and your organization? No, no, no. I'm Pam Ponich-Hunthausen. I am the clinical director of the Florence Crittenden Home and Services, um, also known as Florence Crittenden Center for Pregnant and Parenting Teens mm -hmm. um, in Helena, Montana. Okay. And we have... Um, We've actually been here for over 115 years, serving um, young moms who are pregnant uh, and or parenting and their kids. Oh, okay, great. Um, so how did somebody get involved in your organization? Well, we have a lot of different opportunities to be involved. Um, I'm, you know, I'm on the clinical treatment end. We are, we're licensed through the state of Montana as a therapeutic group home for teenagers, okay. teenage moms, mm -hmm. um, as well as a maternity home. Um, and so if, if there's a need for a girl to p potentially come and look at our services, um, that, that piece comes through me. Okay. Um, so I talk to a lot of people around the state um, you know, who have connections and sometimes it's therapists or school counselors or um, case managers or parents or sometimes girls will call me themselves really looking for some extra support um, for their teen parenting um, and since we're a therapeutic group home we're, we also have a it's a pretty heavy, heavy duty treatment focus as well um, and then we also have a program that serves homeless okay. young moms and their babies mm -hmm. Um, and that's a little bit older, 18 to 20. So there's there's that door, and those are kind of our residential right. programs. And then one of the things we're really starting to do a lot more of is um, branch out and do more um, offerings to the community. Um, okay. So starting to do parenting classes where where folks from the community can come in if they if they have kids of any age. Right. Um, and that's been really successful. People have loved those. Yeah. We use the circle of security model here, which is um, kind of taking over. You know, it's, yeah. it's all the rage because it's really good attachment focused okay. parenting. Um, and then we are doing more outpatient kind of services. Mm -hmm. So I work more with kids who are, are younger. Um, our other therapist, Maria Nyberg, works more with adults. We also have a chemical dependency counselor on staff. So oh. we're trying to do, you know, do more of what we do, but also in the community and actually across the state too. Right. We're looking at um, you know, putting more services in tribal areas and okay. doing more prevention, you know, yeah. and keeping kids where they where they live as opposed to having to come mm -hmm. here if they don't need to. Um, but in addition to that, we always are looking for volunteers. Okay. You know, we're a private nonprofit that right. um, you know gets funding however we can in a, in a lot of different places and the community is really very good to us um, and we couldn't really do it without the help of volunteers so we have a, we have, have a volunteer coordinator here Deb right. who takes those kinds of calls um, and we do a lot of fundraising events throughout the year okay um, and so we have a development department who you know that would be who someone would want to talk to to right. get involved that way and of course we'll take Donations, donations and financial okay. help at any time. It's always very appreciated. Little ones have a lot of needs. A lot <laughs> of needs. We're always needing to get diapers. Right. Diapers, diapers, wipes, <laughs> formula. <laughs> yeah. It's good to know. Okay. So, um, does your organization have any events or programs coming up that, um, if somebody's interested, to to look forward to? There is always something coming up. Um, we actually just did a really fun fun fundraiser last week, um, so that's a little late to talk about that, but right. we'll do it again next year. It was, um, we had different artists and folks in the in the community create artistic brassiers oh, and had nice. a support our girls okay. little fundraiser, which was which was really fun. So that'll probably be and next that'll July. That'll happen again next July or August, it might even be September. Okay. Um, our big event is always in February, first part of February last part of January, um, it's Paint the Town Pink, and it's our big annual event that's gotten um, just bigger every year, and we do a big auction, silent auction, live auction, dinner, dance, and so um, folks can look forward to starting to hear more about that, too. Great. And that'll take place here in Helena? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always here in Helena. 
Okay. Well, that leads me to my next question. This is kind of an unstructured question to right. lighten the mood a bit, but this is my only my second time in Helena. So before I leave, what one thing do you suggest I check out? If you haven't, I think that you should climb Mount Helena. Mount Helena? Yeah. I'm a Montana girl, <laughs> but I moved to California for a lot of years, and I oh. never thought I was going to come back to Montana. Mm -hmm. When I moved to Helena, I was pretty blown away that we actually have a mountain in the middle of town. Yeah. And I think if you've lived here forever, you kind of take that for granted. Right. I look out my window and I see it, <laughs> and I just think it's an amazing thing that we get to have, and it's a beautiful hike. There's lots of beautiful hikes on it, actually. So. Okay. That's what I would recommend. All right. So Mount Helena it is. Thank you, family. Thank you.